Chris Mikowski of Emerging Civil War for the American Battlefield Trust. We've been exploring the Atlanta History Center with Chief Military Curator Gordon Jones, and he has something for us now in the archives here that's a little titillating. Gordon, what do you have for us? Ah, well, remember, Chris, <laughs> uh, the Civil War is not all about military activities. All right, it's for real people in real times doing real things. And uh, so what I have here is a sample of some Civil War pornography. Now, this little book right here, I want you to notice this. All right, first of all, you see it's in a plain brown wrapper, and somebody has really thumbed through this very thoroughly, so it's, it's well used. Now, don't be shocked, but okay, look, it's, it's illustrated, it's graphic, <coughs> And it's definitely showing you what it is that you want to be doing out in the woods. Ah, and the title page here, this is the Amorous Confessions of Margaret Moncrief, published in 1859 in, where else, New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> Margaret Moncrief was actually sort of a, um, uh, a well-known a uh, lover well known for her supposed exploits in the late 19th century. Um, it's kind of like uh, the dime novels got hold of um, Davy Crockett and um, kind of exaggerated his exploits. Uh, the same thing would be said for Margaret Moncrief. Now, most of it, you know, is, is stories, but there are illustrations throughout. These, this is extremely rare. This is really hard to come by. Um, and you think about it, you know, what are the chances of this stuff surviving? I mean, if you found this in your father's, um, you know, Civil War collection or, or in, his, in his baggage or something or in his chest, you would, you would throw it away. Uh, this one we got from my friend uh, Lynn Trainer. He's a collector in Australia. And he had the imagination enough to to bring that in as part of the story of the Civil War. Just real quick, we've got Tim York here from a Gettysburg Discussion Group for Overly Sensitive People. This seems right up your alley, That's amazing. Tim. Actually, you can actually still smell the hand lotion. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Well, we also, again, this is a recent acquisition because we're always looking for, for new artifacts that tell different stories. But uh, this is a letter from a guy named William Eldred in the 5th Michigan. Uh, it's dated 1862. And this is proof positive that people did use the F word back in those days. And he starts out. This is proof positive that, he did, that people did use the F word back in those days. And he starts out right here. I'm going to read the, the transcription here. He says, uh, Dear friend, I received your letter last night and was glad to hear from you. And if I didn't have a good f God f I got my laying, whiskey, supper, breakfast, laying, and ram away to pay the bill. I took seven rounds during the night and had to shoulder my ass to get in this morning by God. So, yeah, when you talk about people cursing at that time, yeah, it, it, it just like today. And it, it came in this little envelope right here, this little patriotic envelope. I kind of like that. How are you, Mr. Merrimack? Thumbing his nose. Somehow it seems appropriate to that letter. <laughs> I've just, uh, in, in all my time, I've never heard something quite like that um, stated so plainly in a letter. It's, it's important to have this in your collection that teaches us about the war. It sounds just like guys. I'm actually kind of thinking back to a, uh, our time at the, the site where Bishop Polk was killed and William Sherman saying, aren't they saucy? Well, you want to talk about saucy, we've got a box of saucy right here. <laughs> And we're still actively collecting in this field, right? I mean, this is social history. This is the history of the 19th century. This is not just this is not just about guns and generals. This is about people. The Civil War is always about people.
ordinary people. Here we are. And we have a tendency to romanticize those people, and we think about them as, as far-off people in funny clothes, doing noble things or, or doing unsavory things. Um, they're people just like you and me, and having artifacts like this remind us that they are people as human as any of the rest of us. Uh, Gordon, I want to thank you for taking the time to show off some of these things and reminding us our own common humanity, uh, even if it is a little more titillating than you might have been expecting.